welcome back to Hughes Nursery and today it's time to plant out some of the squashes that we've got. So we've got some jack-o'-lantern and some courgettes and we're just going to be planting them out using sort of a quite a nice perfective method of letting them um, water using rain because we're going to make a dome shape out of a bit of plastic and this also saves you from having to weed. So first we're going to uh, dig about a spit which is the length of, well the depth of the spade into the ground. Now it's time to fill these holes with some nice organic compost which is actually homemade and we're going to fill the, we're not going to fill the holes up all the way we're going to fill them halfway up and then we'll rest the squash plants on the compost So, we've just planted one, we've got another one now to plant, and I'm going to show you how you plant them. So, here's the um, squash here. Now, what we should be doing, as it's uh, gone a bit floppy, we can plant it up at the top there, and that's going to lower the chance of the slugs going in and chopping the weaker uh, base of the plant. So, give it a gentle tap couple of uh, weeds in there and then now we're going to plant it in like that just make sure it fits and put a bit of soil around and then we're going to get some compost put a bit of compost in it's time to go around just mixing up the soil and the compost up like that and then go around and there we've planted the squash here okay and now this is a clever part we're gonna be well we're gonna be making a dome which is going to sort of trap the water and help the water go in and feed the squash plant. Now you don't need to make it like really big, you just need to make sure that there's a small like, indentation in the ground where the water will collect and go and feed the plant. And then once you've done that, it's now time to move on to the next one. So here are all the plants planted out and now the next thing we're going to be doing is covering it over with black plastic. But first we've got to put some sticks in just to the right of the plant. Now the reason why is as we have the sticks and put the plastic over the sticks will mark where the plants are. And if we always put them to the right of the plant we then know we can cut out the cross uh, just about three inches to the left of it for each one. And we're going to be sort of cutting out a six by six inch uh, cross and then we're going to carefully lift the leaves of the plant out of it. And then another good thing about using the black plastic is that it absorbs heat and this is going to sort of warm up the bed which is going to be like ideal for the plants. Yeah. 
Now we're cutting out the cross. One bit six by six inches. Then when you open it up, the plant will be underneath it and you might want to adjust it to size depending how big the plant is. And then just gently lift out the leaves like that and place the cross back in. There we go. Now continue to do it for the rest of the bed. And so here we have it. Now we've tucked in the edges of the plastic just by pressing it down with the spade. You might need to readjust some of the plants, but we've planted the whole bed up now. And you can sort of faintly see a bit of the domes, but when it does rain, it will, def it will collect them. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that it inspired you to try out yourself. This is great because it saves you having to weed it and it warms up the bed. So thank you very much for watching. And here's just dad who's going to demonstrate how it traps, how the domes, they trap the water like that. So it's easy to feed them and water them and even better when it rains it saves you having to do it so thanks again for watching and see you again very soon goodbye